Good morning, guys. We are live with another Elite Coach Live. So thanks very much for joining us. As you join us, let us know where you're tuning in from, whether that be LinkedIn, whether that be Facebook, whether that be in the Elite Coach Networkers group. Say hello. Let us Show us some love. Let us know how your week's been going. What has been the big wins for you so far this week? And just, yeah, just share the love. It's Friday. Everybody's sort of starting to celebrate, ready for the weekend. Uh, just let us know some of your quick wins and stuff. But anyway, I am joined by the founder and program um, manager of uh, Rip PT, also Rip, sorry, and Cormac. How are we doing, mate? How's life treating you? Good morning. Yeah, good, good. Um, good to be with you on uh, early Friday morning. So, yeah, thanks for having me, first of all. No, nah, no worries, mate. Well, first and foremost, I hope you're fueled with coffee, mate. Our our coaches like to be uh, up and ready and ready to rock and roll, mate. Absolutely. Yeah, that was the first <laughs> thing I went for this morning. <laughs> well, that's it. Well, I've got got the old espresso cup is keep me going. I'm not just a giant. I, that is an espresso cup. I, I like to have <laughs> me strong espresso, so it's all good. So, guys, the, um, Cormac's on just to share us a bit about his coaching uh, platform. And, and the, it's a big thing for us at... SCE because very early on in the piece we always talking about coaching systems and making sure that a coaching system you develop is aligned with your coaching philosophy because ultimately what you need to do is you need to make sure that your coaching can be as effective as it possibly can be from the get-go you know it's no point trying to figure stuff out on the fly it's no point just trying to second guess things or whatever it may be it's all about making sure that you have your systems in place and you have as much support as you can. So Cormac's going to be sharing the story of uh, RIP, his coaching software, where it's kind of come from. So let's kind of jump straight into that, mate. Do you want to give us a bit of a background about yourself, mate, and and kind of where RIP came from? Sure, yeah. Um, so my own background uh, is in product design. Um, I, I worked for, before I started the company, worked for a number of years um, as a product designer, a hardware product designer. Um, so the move into software was a bit of a change for me. Um, but really talking about, I guess, where Ripped and the initial idea came from. Um, I played a lot of rugby, not anymore. I've hung up the boots. Um, but uh, when I did, I, I played in in the all ireland league here in ireland so it's the level just kind of below the professional level here so mm. we would have worked with a lot of strength and conditioning coaches but i guess the big challenge in that league is the clubs are amateur clubs they they don't have a lot of funding so none of them or most wouldn't really have the funding to work with a full-time snc coach so i guess where the the you know the the light bulb moment was for me we were receiving you know we'd meet with a coach maybe once every six to eight weeks do some testing, then the next day you'd get an email with an Excel sheet with eight weeks of programming in it. And, you know, nobody knew what they were meant to be doing, didn't recognize exercises, you know, um, and, and there was absolutely no, you know, compliance tracking or any sort of monitoring at all. So nobody really did anything, to be honest. Um, <laughs> so that was kind of, that was kind of um, I guess, the light bulb moment for me and thought, you know, there has to be something better out there. And so then, I guess uh, pulled together with my my brother initially, who's a who's a software engineer. So we started the company together, um, and and pulled in um, a colleague of his as well, so another software engineer, and started looking into the issues and and really discovered how much of you know how much of how many pain points there are for coaches as well, mm -hmm. you know, and so not just seeing it from purely from the athlete's point of view. Um, so yeah, I guess you know Rip was born out of that. We pulled in some SNC coaches, so that the, the coaches I was working with in the rugby club and, and guys I'd worked with over the years to help us co-create the product. So it's built, you know, with coaches and and with all of coaches' pain points in mind. Um, and and yeah, so we we developed the platform really um, to make it easier for coaches to manage their clients and athletes, manage their programming, and um, but also to help them deliver a top class service to to those athletes and then actually reach reach more clients and, and grow a successful business and um, so that's that's really where it come from where it came from and, and I guess where we're going with the platform as well and um, so we're, we're nearly three years old now we will be um, next February so it, it's you know it's it's something we're always in contact closely with our customers and, and build relationships so we have that feedback loop and we can keep refining and developing the platform 
Nice, nice. That, that's, that's awesome. And I, I, I think that's what uh, we were just chatting a little bit before we went live about that relationship we have with yourselves in terms of why it was important that it was first and foremost, you guys have developed something, not just for the sake of developing it and trying to make a quick book. It was to try and solve a specific problem and trying to aid coaches um, and, and make a meaningful impact. And that's what was important for us. So it's, it's great to kind of kind of hear that's what's been going on as well. So when you talk about the kind of pain points, what was kind of the, the common ones that the coaches you were working alongside, what were they sort of chucking up? What was the, the common issues that you were finding on the field? Uh, and initially it was it was just being able to you know deliver those programs easily you know so so coaches and and some coaches are very very good at developing programs on excel and you can do amazing things with excel but then trying to deliver that to people in a way they can actually consume it and it's useful for the players in the gym is, is or the the clients in the gym is the challenge um, and and it's okay if you're probably working with you know a small number of clients but when you try and scale that out as well and you're working with a lot of the coaches would poten potentially be working with a, a couple of local teams and you know you're trying to track who you've sent emails to and does everybody have the program and then you're getting constant questions from people who don't understand exercises and there's no kind of real support built into that system and so that was the the original kind of pain point um, and then you know coming into that piece where you're you're looking at the monitoring side of things and it's even simple compliance tracking but then building that up and looking at all the other areas that are that are impacting performance and mm -hmm. um, so that's a big area that we've moved into and um, <clears throat> so the core of the platform would be the programming tools but then we've also built in well-being monitoring tools and uh, training load monitoring nutrition we're going into now as well so it, it's kind of looking at that you know all of the areas that impact performance rather than just you know simple sharing a program or a couple of workouts with your clients you know? mm. uh, and, and that that's great because i think that's the the key thing it's it, it's it kind of epitomizes what coaching is right i think there's there's always both sides of it i always talk about that five letter word of the coach everybody talks about strength and conditioning or sports science or be it working in rugby working in football but that five letter word is coach and that's somebody who can bring all of the technical aspects bring all of the jargon but also make the programs completely adaptable to the individual right so the mm -hmm. fact that you've got those um monitoring tools in there and just saying actually we need to flip things around and have that ability to change things up uh, at the drop of a hat because you know sometimes you've got to have that, that monitoring in place or you just kind of think and just keep pushing, keep pushing. And when performance plummets and then you start having those conversations, you think, man, I wish I had a handle of that earlier on. So the fact that you've got that live going on all the time, is important, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It just gives you those extra insights, I guess, to, you know, why, why, you know, your client or athlete is, is not making the progress that you hope they would or in, in that case, like, you know, so yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's really important to have those extra insights and not just be blindly pushing out programs um, to, to people. You know? Yeah, no, that's absolutely fantastic. I, I really, really do that. Look, got some good comments coming up. A uh, good one from Paul. I think, I, I mean, I don't know if you want to take a wild stab in that, but what is the best coaching app for coaches to use as a coach for clients? I'm probably, I'm going to go ripped. I don't know if you'd agree with that, Colin. But, geez, <laughs> for, you know, we are, we're of course, we, well, well, we'll let you guys be the judge, I guess, when I, <laughs> when I share and give a bit of a demo of the platform. So. <laughs> no worries ricky this will be will be recorded it'll come up in the, the the news feed straight after we finish mate so you'll be able to come back and, and jump onto it as well so um and heather says a great one there good need help with um nutrition and fueling for performance which we all do keeping an eye on that as well as coaches uh, and as athletes as well so quick quick one before you start showing people the the final piece of the the platform and stuff is is what's been the you're in like a very crowded area you probably admit that there's lots of different uh platforms and apps mm -hmm. and stuff out there isn't there i think there's seems to be one coming up every five minutes and stuff so obviously yeah. that must have been quite daunting stepping into uh, a crowded market if you will in terms of wow there's already 
thousands out there <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, yeah, we can build yeah. you them and all these kinds of stuff. So what made you want to sort of go into that jump? Was it just the fact that you believed in the message enough or just talk a bit about that, mate? What made you want to jump into that space? Yeah, I, I think, well, I think personally, I always kind of had that kind of entrepreneurial, I guess, drive um, from a personal sense. And, and yeah, we really believed. And, and when we started doing our research and looking into, because there were some, you know, we, we started this, I guess this idea came in about 2015. So we have been working on it for a long time. Um, but even back then, there were some platforms out there are starting to come out. But yeah, we really felt that there, there wasn't a really strong offering for coaches that ticked all the boxes in, in the marketplace. Certain things, certain other platforms do certain things well. Um, and, and I guess what we really what differentiates us and, and what we looked at is, is more so that monitoring piece um, and that real feedback loop with the client. Um, so I, I think a lot of the platforms out there, they're much more basic in terms of their programming and monitoring what you can actually get back from your clients. And so that's really kind of a point of differentiation for us. And, and as I, I mentioned earlier as well, like looking at that whole performance piece rather than just your programming tool like as a standalone you know yeah and um, so they're kind of the the two big areas we targeted i guess you know yeah so, so it, it it shows that it's just that commitment and you've got to have that belief in the product to jump into a a, a market so you credit to you on that one Quick yeah, question yeah. Before, you, before you start showing it um so can this platform be used by a running coach too so i'll let you jump on with that one mate y yes it absolutely can um so I guess, and we can we can talk to a bit of this when I'm, when I'm doing the demo in a minute, but one of the things we really targeted with the platform as well is to give coaches a lot of flexibility um, in terms of the programming that you want to share. Um, so, it, you know, it could be used with, you know, general population and you can go as simple as programming sets and reps, you know, or you can get much more detailed on your programming if you're working with high performance athletes. Um, and we do, at the moment, we have 21 different metrics in there that you can prescribe and monitor in your athletes. So it's it's very thorough on the programming side of things. So, you know, we have running metrics and, and all those kind of things as well that you can build running programs with alongside your S&C stuff. So, yeah, it is it is very flexible in terms of, of what you can deliver. Nice, nice. I, I like the fact that you, you're trying to bring it all in, in one place because I, I think the biggest thing for me was I try and find one platform and I'm thinking, okay, that's great, but there's a big piece of the puzzle missing here. And mm -hmm. when that big piece of the puzzle's missing, it just makes my programming and my coaching null and void. Or, so, or, or one of them would have that, but then it wouldn't have the other pieces. So I think the fact mm -hmm. that you've got so many metrics in there, that covers a, such a wide range, which actually the training bit is the the easy bit, if we like, the program, the sets and reps, that is the easy bit. It's the stuff around it uh, and the monitoring of that, of, it's, which makes it uh, such an attractive piece for, for me and for myself as a coach as well anyway. Someone else there <laughs> saying, been playing with Ripped over the past couple of days seems really good. It'll be seem really, it'll seem great by the end of it, I'm sure, as you start. Thank you. <laughs> So, Cormac, do you want to sort of, obviously, we can talk about it until we're blue in the face, but I think with stuff like this, it's always good just to, to share. So, do you want to sort of just give us a bit of a run through of, of, of what RIP looks like and how it works, mate? Sure, will do. Yeah, so I will go for, you know, a general overview of the platform and what it can do. We'll look at the app, which will show it from the athlete's point of view as well. Um, but, yeah, if you want to jump in and stop me in any stage with any specific questions, um, please feel free to do so. Yeah, uh, so one second, I will just get everything set up here. This is when the pressure's on on our technology skills. I had an absolute yeah. life, so no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fail me now, technology. Mm. Uh, okay, so I'll go for the share. Can you let me know when you can see that there, Steve? There you go, mate. I'll, I'll take right, our heads right. off it as well, mate. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, so Rip, this is this is the Rip platform from the coach's point of view. And um, when you log in and create your account, so first of all, you'll be creating um, your your trainer's profile. 
Um, so you'll have your own profile in here. Um, everything then will be linked back to the what we call in the platform as a gym, but really it's your business or your organization that you're creating. Um, so one of, the, one of the key features of the platform as well is we see a lot of coaches who would work, be working possibly in multiple organizations. They might have their own coaching business. They might work with a local team and maybe even be working in a, in a local gym as well. Um, so we wanted to give coaches the flexibility to be able to work in multiple organizations in the platform. So you can create and be linked to multiple organizations and you can have one login here into Ripped and you can quickly jump context between your different you know, organizations, businesses, whatever it is in, in your specific context. But everything, the important thing is everything when you're doing your coaching, everything that's sent out to the RIP app will come from you as a coach. So your clients or your athletes will always be very clear on who they're working with. And um, so you have, you know, a, a simple bio in here at the moment and you can add, you know, your social media links. We do have plans um, in the future to be making to be able to make these profiles public. So basically moving towards being able to replace the need for coaches to have websites. So you could have, you know, your mini um, trainer profile, your business profile, and also, which we'll look at in a second, we have a, a products feature where you can actually create web pages to sell your programs and, and other services. Um, but at the, at the moment, it's, it's really just for populating and, and really personalizing the content through the app for, for your clients and athletes. In terms of the gym profile, then, if I click in here, very similar, you can add your own business, you know, logos and branding. Again, everything that goes to the app will come with your own branding on it. So it's very personalized for your clients and athletes within the app. And again, a simple profile and you can have your, you know, your social media links of your business and all that linked here. The other, the other feature that, that comes with all of our, our plans as well is the fact that you can collaborate with multiple trainers within your organization. So if you are working in a, large, a larger organization or you, you, know, you have other coaches working with you in your business or even you know, nutritionists or physiotherapists or anything like that, they can all be added to your organization so you can collaborate on your programming and managing your clients and athletes. Um, so a nice feature if you are working in those larger organizations. Um, so I will jump on next to, to the user section is basically where you will manage all of your clients and your athletes. Um, so there's, there's two ways of working with the platform. And um, so it, the first way and um, simplest way is, is subscription based. So you would sign up to a subscription and you would get a set number of clients or athletes that you can work with each month. And um, so this is very flexible. Again, you can upgrade or downgrade your plan at any time and you just manage, you know, the number of clients that are linked to your organization at any time. So you can remove them and add different clients if you're not working with clients and, and you only you, you have that set number each month, basically. And so working in that way, it's very simple. You would click in here to invite your users. You pop in their email address and you can and um, once they sign up, they'll be linked in here. They're sharing all of their data with you and you can program for them and monitor their performance and their progress. And um, so within that, it's important to, to note um, just in, in GDPR terms and everything that your clients, they own all of their own data. So they're basically sharing it with you when they're linked to your organization. They can leave and if they do they will bring all their data with them so you don't have to have any worries on that side of things and then if they link back with you in the future again they'll basically be sharing all that data again so you'd see their full training history and and everything you did with them previously so you as a coach would own all your workouts and programs they wouldn't bring any of that with them but they will bring their their training data and their performance data basically and um, so the other way of, of working with the platform is you can actually create programs to sell through the platform. And in that case, uh, over here in the online program clients, this is where any clients will appear that you've actually sold a program to online. So they don't count towards your subscription. And this can be used without any RIP subscription at all. So it's more of a pay as you go option. And you'll only be charged a fee when you, when you make a sale of a program. Um, and the fees are based on basically um, the number of clients that the program is for. So you can create individual programs or you can create client or programs for groups or teams as well that you sell to multiple people at once. Um, and the duration of the program. So the client will 
be linked to you basically for the duration of the program. So imagine you sell a four week program, they'll have access to the program for that four weeks. And then another week of grace at the end of that in case they haven't finished anything off, but then they'll actually lose access to those workouts. So again, they'll keep their training history, but they won't have access to the workout details. So if they want to continue working with you, um, you know, they'd, ha they'd have to sign up to another program. And that has again been a, a big important feedback point from coaches. And um, if you're working with that, you know, sharing Excel or PDF documents that coaches find that, you know, people would buy a program and then pass it on to 10 of their friends. So it, it limits that possibility for people as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a really good feature. I like that one because I think it makes people buy into the full training process rather than especially online clients. But I really like the fact that the online clients are separate to your, to your subscription count in terms of that. And it's just they buy the product and you just pay a, a fee for that that's that's really cool because i think online coaches they're just adding more and more and more in and you know it can soon ramp up the subscription so if you're an online coach it's nice to have that feature knowing that it's not just going to go into your core if you're going to a hybrid say you run a gym and you've got online clients as well so it's a really nice feature that one yeah it, it just i guess again goes to that flexibility piece to give you coaches more control over over what they're doing you know yeah. Um, so yeah, in terms of your your you know your online clients versus your regular clients, they're they're treated the exact same way when they're linked to you. So you can monitor them and track them in the exact same way. So I'll just jump into um, one of your clients' profiles to give you an, an idea of you know what you can track basically on your clients. And so the profile itself is basically like a snapshot of where that client is at at that point in time. And um, so you have your general information about it and um, we've actually just launched injury tracking in, into the platform as well. So you can now, if you're working with a physio or, or even yourself, you can start recording injuries for your, your clients and they'll have an injury status in here. And um, so you have a body composition dashboard in here as well, where you'll see your current or your client's current body composition. So that can be tracked through the app or you can pop it in here by clicking edit. You're basically selecting whatever measurement type you're using and putting in your client's measurements um, and their general info. And from that, we'll calculate, you know, their body fat percentage and their fat mass and their lean mass. And um, we do have nutrition tracking in the app, which I'll, I'll look to you in a minute. We're just in the process of adding this into the profile, but we do have a larger dashboard in the analysis section where you can view all your, your nutrition data. And um, at the moment, they can track their daily macros, their daily calories, and their daily water intake. And they can also record a text food diary through the app. And we're working on, which we're going to be launching early in the new year, we're working on a, an integration with MyFitnessPal at the moment. So all of that data will sync automatically if your clients are using MyFitnessPal. And so it just makes it easier for them. Um, next, you have your, your exercises section. So basically, um, any, uh, or any exercise you include in your workouts, you will prescribe certain metrics to your clients, and then they will be asked to record those metrics in the app. From, from that, we will calculate different records depending on what the combination of metrics are. So say in this case with your one rep maxes, it would be uh, reps and kg, uh, and we'll also do stuff like body weight one rep max ratio if they have their body weights in there on that date and, and look at total load records. But as I was saying, with the 21 metrics, you can track nearly any assessment data that you need to. So it could be jump heights if you're looking at the BMJ, it could be sprint times or distances, um, depending on, on what you want to track with your clients. So there's a lot of flexibility in there. And here you can look at basically any exercises that you've re they've recorded data for, and you can look at their current records. And you can also see a training diary here. So this will show you basically the last 10 times they've done this exercise and literally all of the data down to each set and rep that they've completed. So you can see their, their progress across the weeks of their program here. And it will look at, you know, the total volume for each session in terms of the reps and kg um, or, or whatever those metrics are, you know. Mm. Um, so a lot of detail if, if, you, if you want to go into it there with, with your different clients. Um, next up then is the lifestyle section. So within the app as well, we have a well-being section, which we which we call lifestyle here. And it's basically a daily questionnaire that your clients will, will be asked to um, submit. 
It covers sleep, sleep duration, mood, energy levels, stress, and muscle soreness. So it's tying into that piece about giving you more, more insights about other things that are going on in their life that can impact their, their performance and their progress. So in this dashboard, you'll very quickly, you'll see a traffic light view of their feedback. So they're answering these questions on a one to five or a one to 12 for a sleep duration. Um, and you'll get this traffic light view so you can very quickly see um, if they're reporting any issues. Now, this client here hasn't hasn't completed their questionnaire today. Um, but on the on the left hand side here, you can also see their, their seven day averages um, and their 28 day averages. So we'll flag up any red zones where they've scored, you know, a two or below. And we'll also calculate this readiness score for the day and um, so out of 100 here it's calculated from the responses to this questionnaire and you'll get um, an idea of their readiness to train for that specific day so good thing there you know if they have a tough session coming up and they've reported very very um you know poor readiness scores in here that you can have a chat with them and you know um, pair back their training load if necessary on on, on any given day basically mm -hmm. And um, then you have your workout section in here. You can basically query any time period on the left hand side and it will show you all the workouts that have been scheduled for the client in that time period. And um, it will also give you a, a quick overview of the compliance in that time period as well. And um, so you'll see that every workout that has been sent out, it has a status. So incomplete when you send it out and that will then turn to complete when the athlete has saved their data and marked the workout as complete for you. So in terms of your, your incomplete workouts, you have, you know, options to go in and update it. You know, if, if something does need to change that you can update it very quickly on the fly for your clients, if they pick up an injury, or like I said, if you need to pair back the training load on any specific day, you can click update and any changes you make will, will update immediately in the app for them. And um, we also have a gym mode feature in here, and this is targeted at when you are working either one-to-one -one with your clients or in a group. You can actually open up their workouts on your own laptop or tablet if, if you have one with you and it just saves them having their phone when they're doing a session with you um, in their hand so you can actually look at their personalized loads and record their data for them through that through that feature if you need to um, and nice. I, I like that one that stops any of the i'm going to say the teenagers that i work with stops them sort of jumping on and checking yeah TikTok <laughs> over there. I've got your program. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll sort it out, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. That was a definitely a bit of feedback we got from working with uh, squads of teenagers, all right. Yeah. <laughs> um so yeah, that is that is an option there. So it kind of you know it, it helps you with that piece if they're working remotely they can use purely the app but if you are working in person with them that you have that functionality to be able to just pull up their session and their their training history and everything like that in one screen and, and be able to guide them through their session very easily and um, then for the actual the completed workouts you can then go in and view all of that data if you want so um let me go back to last month um see if there's another one in there so yeah for any of the completed data you can go in and view literally down to each set and rep what they've what they've completed and so you'll see all of your prescribed data um and also what they've actually completed in the gym so we'll have a quick look at this so a quick one while that's loading up uh Cormac, it Somebody's just asked a question, can you do a free offer on a program? So could you give somebody a, a trial within your program, for example? Um, so you, you can, we have um, a free trial. We, we actually haven't um, implemented that on the, on the product sales just yet. Um, so you can't, you can't set up a, a free program there. And the program fees, basically, they have to be, um, you can't charge any less than the fees at the moment so that is something we've had requests for so we are we are looking at that for next year um but you can you can set them up on a free trial basically so we offer a free free trial product for you know up to one athlete and and you also have a one one free trial there in the beginning so you can set your clients up for free and um, basically while you're trialing the platform there nice nice um so sorry about that so we can go in and, and see this 
yeah, so in here, you'll see basically your detailed workout, exactly what you have prescribed. So this is all built in, in the workout builder, which we'll look at in a second. So in the top row, in the top row here in gray, you'll see what you prescribed and then what the athlete actually recorded in the gym. And we can calculate, you know, total loads for each exercise and, and all that information here. You'll also see their, you know, their duration in minutes and their RPE if they recorded that for the session here as well. So if you need to dig down into more detail, you, you have a lot of that data there as well. And um, finally, then I, I won't go into a lot of detail in this, um, but you can also, as I was saying, record injuries for your for your clients. And um, so you're basically recording, you know, the the body part and the structure injured. You can actually um, upload, you know, PDF of scans or anything like that that you need to record with the injury and you can also record injury notes um, and then you're actually at the end you're setting basically return target return to training dates and target return to performance dates um, and that drives your your injury status so you can update the injuries as the the client recovers um, and put in their actual return to training and return to performance dates so definitely for for people um working with or or, or you know, working with physios or physiotherapists themselves, this is an interesting feature in there as well. Mm -hmm. And you can query any time periods in here and look at, you know, any injuries the client had and how many days lost in terms of uh, of training that they they lost there as well. I think I think what I really like about that feature you just mentioned there, and going back to the the previous one in terms of the way it calculates training load based on the time. Um, based on RPE, obviously getting that trim score and getting the total load score there. I think it's uh, I think it's great because you can see, depending on the injury, so if it's kind of a chronic injury, if it's a strain, something that's occurred in the gym, you can kind of retrospectively go back and say what training load was happening, what was occurring at that time. And you might have just actually incidentally just found your athlete's sweet spot of what they can handle, what they can't handle. You can go back and look at the trends rather than thinking, oh, well, this happened during a, a power clean. Uh, what was the clean too heavy? Was it the subsequent weeks beforehand? Having all of this data is really, really powerful and having it at your fingertips so you can look for those trends and it makes the rehab process so much easier because you know what you need to get them back to. Mm -hmm. and actually, you make sure that the program, you can surf the curve a little bit and have a look at making sure that you're not going to overload the athlete in further things as well. Yeah, interesting that you said that because th that is, I guess, where we're where we're going with this feature as well. And the evolution in this feature is definitely looking at. So we'll look at the analysis dashboards in a minute. But overlaying your injury dashboard or overlaying your injuries on some of those dashboards to see, okay, was there a spike in training load? Was there a spike in volume before this injury occurred that we can learn from and prevent happening again? You know? so, yeah. That's definitely um, it's it's a big powerful piece or, or potential for for this feature, you know. Yeah. So somebody's just commented there, Cormac, saying, "Is this section compliant? Obviously, GD, GDPR for holding medical records. So is that going back to the same as what before? So if this user left the program, all of this data would then go with them as well. Is that still correct on the?" The medical stuff yes yeah exactly so again all of this da data is owned by the athlete it's it's always linked to their account so they're they're agreeing to share it with you while they're where they're linked and they're training with you and then they will take all of this data with them and mm -hmm. if they do decide to leave so yeah that's what well. okay um i'll carry on to the next section then unless there, uh, there are any other questions there or no 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 i think i think to be fair mate it's it's like i say it's 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 you've answered all of the questions so far and it, it's a great program because it it brings all it brings clarity to the full coaching piece and, and that's what it's all about right yeah yeah great um okay so i'll jump into the the exercises section now and we'll look at some of the programming tools as well and um, so in the exercise section it's basically an exercise database in here that you will then use to build your workouts and um, so i think when you sign up initially there's there's a little over 900 exercises in here and um, these exercises come with uh, at the moment we have about 140 exercise technique videos in there and we're just about to do another drop of 100 videos so we'll have about 250 now in, in a couple of weeks time that's something that we've been building up as well and adding adding more videos and um, but you can 
And um, one of the one of the strengths of this is is you have full flexibility in here to to edit anything that we've created, upload your own videos, and um, or you can create new exercises from scratch as well if it's something niche that you want to prescribe and monitor in in your clients. Um, so we'll we'll have a quick look at, at one of these exercises basically. Um, creating a new exercise and editing one is is basically the exact same. You're just setting up any any name that you want for the exercise and setting a main muscle group. And uh, you can set up default metrics here. So as I was saying, we do have 21 different metrics. We'll have a quick look at them here. So you can program in, you know, reps and um, reps each side, reps ranges. You have your different load metrics and percentage maxes and ranges. You have force metrics as well. If you're doing, you know, say hamstring testing or groin squeeze or any of that kind of stuff. You have your different distance and height metrics. You have your time metrics, so seconds and minutes. You can program in your velocities and your velocity ranges, and you also have effort metrics, so your RPE and your RIR that you can prescribe there as well. So mm -hmm. setting up your default metrics just saves you a lot of time when you're programming because it means when you add this exercise to the workout builder that the right metrics will be there and you don't have to select them each time. Mm -hmm. And so a, a useful thing to get set up. Um, then in terms of your videos, you can tag a video to any exercise in here. And that means that anytime you send it as part of a workout, it will come with that exercise video. And um, so we do all of our hosting on YouTube at the moment. So if you create a, a YouTube channel, you can upload your videos there and you just pop in the link to the video. And um, we also have some, some um, content around how you put, you know, if you don't want your videos to be searchable on YouTube, how you can upload them as unlisted there. So only people with the link will see them. So you have that control there as well. Um, but yeah, everything basically in terms of the, the video, everything is done within the Rift app. They're never taken out to YouTube at any stage. So they stay in their, in their workout content there. You can also add a text description as well if you want to, but generally the video is the really popular one there. Um, but as well to, to get your own face and your own brand in there to, to personalize the experience in the app for your clients as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, quite quite simple. You have your exercise database here. You know you can create groups of exercises and run different you know volume analysis on them and stuff like that. So you have some different functionality in there, but but quite really quite a simple feature there. So with the creating the exercise group, there is you you breaking that down into movement patterns, or you can break it down into strength based exercises, whatever your coach and philosophy is, right? Depending on exactly. How you're yeah, so it's your, it's custom exercise groups. You would give it its own name um, and you add the exercise to it, you know, so it could be, you know, you could look at push versus pull exercises in, in terms of volume or, or whatever it is for your context that's important, you know, and um, okay. so fully customizable there. Uh, that, that's fantastic. We were just chatting about this last night in terms of coaching systems and how doing the work early in uh, early in the piece of making sure that you have a systemized approach to your programming, how you coach your athletes is really, really important. Um, but the fact that you've already got this built into the app and because it's flexible completely to the coach's philosophy. So some people might want to prioritize movements. Some people mm -hmm. might want to, they might be working predominantly with strength based sports. So they might want to look at derivatives focused or power focused or strength speed exercises and try and break them down into that force velocity curve so the athlete knows or for themselves um i think that's it's a really really great feature it's not either one or the other in terms of legs back and shoulders for example mm -hmm. good good to hear um so yeah i'll continue then um so i'll jump into the content section next because this also feeds into your workouts and um, so the content section is basically a library of content that you can upload here and include in your programming and um, so it can be at the moment we support video content and we also support pdf and image files so you can upload your jpegs and, and pngs here um, and basically it's a con it's a library of supporting material for your your clients or athletes that you can share so as i was saying um, you can add it to your programming 
or a new feature we also just released here is this new kind of what we call resource resources within within the platform and um, so you can set up different folders here in your content library and you'll see some of these folders have this icon beside them and that means that that folder is public for your clients and athletes so it's kind of think of it like a, a mini google drive within the platform that you can set up different folders to group your content and then when you make it public your clients and athletes can access this content through the app on demand. They have these resources set up in there. So very popular for lots of different things, you know, like nutrition and can use it for video workouts or PDF workouts. If you want to, if you want to share them in there, we are expanding this to actually, you can, you will be able to put your workout templates in here as well. So they can actually choose a workout on a specific day. Um, recipes, cooking demos, recovery videos or tips or, or basically anything you want to use it for you can do that um, and you can basically control the public access whenever so if you want to remove it or, or take out some of the content you can just remove public access here um, and they won't be able to see it anymore so useful tool again depending on what your context is you can you can use it for a wide range of things and um, so very simple in terms of uploading your content you just you give it a name and you select the file or copy and paste the YouTube or Vimeo link if it's a video here um, and you'll have that library to pull from uh, and share with your clients. Um, so I'll just jump into the workout section next. Um, so in your workout section, you will, when you sign up initially, you won't have any templates in here. So we don't actually provide any of the workout templates, just the tools for coaches to create them themselves. If you are working with other coaches, you can collaborate here. So you'll see your own templates by default, but you can you know, look at other coaches' templates, create your own copies and tweak them if you are working and collaborating, um, and they can be sent basically out, out to your, your clients and your athletes. So as you build up your workouts, you will also have the templates here to pull from. And you know, if, if a new client sign up, you, you can have, and you need to make some tweaks, you can go in and tweak a template, or you can very quickly create a copy of that template and, and make the necessary tweaks for any, any individual if you have your base programming built in there. Um, so some useful tools like that. I will look at a pre-built workout um, just to give you an idea of what can be done with with the feature and um, so this is just an example of, of a strength workout here and um, so when you create your workout again you just give it um, a, a unique name you can set up your target duration and your target intensity or rpe for the session as well but again the the client will be asked to record what they actually did themselves after after the workout and um, you can also put in a text description in here. It could be, you know, the goals of the workout or, or any instructions that you want to give them, on, give them on how to complete the workout. And um, just for extra, again, support um, for your clients and, and your athletes. So then in terms of the workout itself, so this is a pre-built workout. So you'll see multiple different tabs across here, which are the different sections of your workout. Um, but to add these, basically, you'd be clicking on add exercises here. And this opens a pop-up where you basically build the structure of your workout and you add all of your exercises and your content. So this is a, a kind of a multi-section workout. So you have your A for your warm-up, you have your B section, your key lifts, and C key lifts, you have your hypertrophy section and, and a finisher at the end. So you can add these exercise groupings. We'll add them A, B, C, D, E, but you can click on any of these to, to customize the name as well. And basically for each section of your workout, you can add um, an exercise or multiple exercises from your exercise database. So in here, you would just type to filter the list and select your exercise. Or you can also add video content here. It's very useful in the case of, say, a warm up in this case, like a dynamic warm up video. If you don't need to, say, prescribe very specific um, metrics and values to your clients and you don't necessarily want to track the data from that section, you can just pop in a video here for them to follow along to, say, in the case of dynamic warm up. This can be used for, similarly can be used for a full video workout if you wanted to, um, or, you know, just a, a section of the workout. So it, it is, again, uh, quite a flexible tool there on, on what you want to use it for. Um, but then, yeah, if you wanted to prescribe something more specific, you would see that you would add these exercises into your different sections. 
So once that's done, um, when you add it to your workout, the, the different sections will appear as tabs here. And you're clicking into the tabs to, to put in more information if necessary. So in here, you have your dynamic warm up video. So you can click in and watch that there if you want. Um, and you can also add for each section, you can add your different notes. And um, so if, if you want to give them even more instructions here, you can add a text note. Um, and when I click into B here, the key lifts where we've actually added exercises, you can see um, what this will look like. So for each section, then you, you can decide whether you want to record the data or not for that section. So again, to, to make life easier for the client, you can, if you're not interested in getting all the data back, you can just track compliance on your workouts if you want. Um, and you also decide how the, how the exercises should be completed. So in straight sets or, or as a superset. So in terms of the work or the exercises themselves, and um, you're basically just defining the number of sets and, and the metrics that you want to prescribe. And when you've added those, um, you know, this works like an Excel table basically. So you can just type in here um, and tab through to add your data. And um, so we have a couple of small features like um, when you type into set one, it will copy those values down the sets. So you only need to type in multiple times if, if the values are different. And um, so just a couple of things like that to save you time. Um, but in terms of prescribing, you can add any combination of three metrics per exercise, or you could just get very simple, as I said, and just go sets and reps if, if it's you know a simpler workout. With that, you can also you know apply a tempo and a rest period and a specific tip or coaching cue for each exercise if you need to. So again, you can get very specific and detailed depending on the, the, the type of client you're working with, or you can have a very simple workout there as well. Um, any questions in particular on that? You think that that pop up, see that you want uh, more, more detail? No, no, that? I'm sure you're going to cover the metrics uh, when we come to the analysis section anyway, of the type of metrics that you can and analyze. But I think, I think yeah. for any coach that's watching that, um, traditionally most of you are probably looking at them and saying oh that's what my exercise sheet looks like uh, that's what my paper looks like on my excel document um looks like so it's great the fact that you can bring it to life and put it into an app as well you know mm -hmm. yeah so so on that on the right hand side here you're basically seeing a workout summary so as you build your workout this is displaying what it looks like for your client in the app um, so you can click through any of these sections and see pretty much exactly what they're seeing, basically. So you'll see, you know, your different sections and, and what you've prescribed there and, and what they'll see. So a good thing as well, just to, you know, quickly look over your workouts and um, before you send them out. Um, mm -hmm. So, so yeah, I, I will, I'll move on to the programming section then. I, I won't go into any more detail on that because um, I'm just conscious of the time as well. Um, but yeah, there's a, a lot you can do in there and we do have lots of videos. So if you are signing up for the free account, you can also click into the need help button when you're logged into the site and you'll get basically um, the RIP Trainer Academy, which is a description of the feature. And you have short like one to two minute video guides on how to do basically everything within all the different features. And um, so that's a, a good support there as well when you're getting comfortable with things. So you um, also you know, back to you. Sorry to interrupt there, Carmack. You know, when you were talking about the um, the wellness score and stuff earlier in the piece, and looking at training load and the athlete might. So when you want to click update, that's just going to take you directly to this section here, or some of the exercises where you could quickly add up the load, the amount of sets and reps and stuff. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah. So if you if we go um, back into the say the profile there, just to give you a very quick look. So if you actually go into any of these ones, say I click update on this incomplete workout here, and um, this takes me into basically the workout builder, but it's for the scheduled workout rather than um, you know the the template that you've built. And um, so sorry, my internet is letting me down a bit on this loading, but. Um, yeah, this basically opens up the exact same view, but the scheduled version of the workout. Right. Okay. That that's awesome because I think I I don't know about other coaches who are watching this or, or watching it on record and stuff, but there is many a time when you have to adapt a training program on the fly, or somebody walks in limping or holding the arm or holding the shoulder, and they haven't told you that they had an injury in last night's game or whatever. 
it's always a bit of a pain in the backside so you have to adapt things on the fly so it's great to have that feature so uh yeah just want to double check that one yeah yeah so that's yeah so here we go so you'll see when you open the workout again and um, it's basically you're editing a scheduling work a scheduled workout for this athlete and yeah. so you can make you know tweaks to individualize it you can basically change anything about it in here and change the target date any of that kind of stuff so ah brilliant yeah um, so yeah, very quickly, I'll jump into the programming section then. Um, so the program section, again, similar to the workouts, you're building up your different program templates. A program is basically just like a training block. So it's a multiple week schedule of lots of, you know, multiple different workouts. And you can also add your content into your programs there as well, if you want to. So again, I'll just show you an example of, of a pre-built program. Very simple, really, compared to the workout builder. Again, you're giving it a name and you're just selecting the number of weeks that you want the program to run for. And when you do, you're basically building up this schedule um, for your for your client. And um, so on any day, you would click the plus and you can add, you know, a workout uh, from your templates that you've built. But you can actually create your workouts directly into your programs. Um, or similarly, you would do that for your content. So you can add any of your videos and um, your PDF and your image files in here um, to your to your program on specific days. Um, so yeah, quite simple. You're building up a, a schedule of workouts and any supporting material you want to add there basically for, for your clients and athletes. Um, so once you've built up your schedule, you can then send that out to an individual or to um, you know, a, a group, if you are working with a group or a team that are on the same program. Um, and the send is it's very simple, really. In here, you're just selecting, you know, the, the clients that you want to send it to. So we have a, a training group feature, which we didn't look at, but um, you can basically group them if you are working with a team or a group. And that would basically add all of the users within that group. Or you can add any individuals or a combination of the two. And then with the program, you're just selecting the start date. So say this six week program, you want to start next Monday, you would just select next Monday on the calendar and it will show you how long the program will run for basically and the end date of the program down here. So once that's selected, you're basically sending that program and, and all of those workouts and all of that content that you've added will be scheduled for those clients. And so once that's done so that's just sending there apologies uh, it's, it's always the case when you screen share and, and on on stream yeah that, the internet is under pressure <laughs> every everything just slows down it, it's it's doing two things at the same time it's what my uh, partner tells me off for this all the time so um yeah, yeah completely simplifies with the technology <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you, you have your sent programs um, in here then in terms of tracking all of that, you can look at your sent programs. So you'll, you'll be able to go into any program that you've sent and see the people you've sent it to, add them, you know, do simple stuff like canceling if their schedule needs to change or anything like that. And if you want to track all of that in more detail, you also have like a sent workouts list in here. So this is every individual workout you've sent and you can click in and, you know, see the people who you've sent it to and the status and training loads, all that kind of stuff you can access through there as well. So one of the big changes we have coming um, in the next couple of weeks is we're, we're revamping all of this to put in a big uh, calendar view in the site. We're basically going to display all of this data in much simpler calendar form for you so you can access all of this key data much easier and um, but at the moment it's in this in this kind of list view and um, so i will quickly then share the are we okay for time steve or? yeah 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 no worries yeah. At all mate no worries at all my caffeine levels okay. are still high from the espresso so it's all good mate good. you're awake good <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I will just share the app here then in that case, and we can have a quick look at what that looks like from, from the athlete's point of view. Uh, so one second, hopefully the internet plays ball with us and we can get this shared. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so here is basically what um, your 
clients or your athletes will see in the app and uh, when they log in uh, so basically what they see is a much simpler version of, of what you've kind of created um, and scheduled for them so when they log into the app they'll see their weekly schedule here and um, so any days they have a workout scheduled will be circled in orange like this and that will change to blue as they complete their workouts and um, they can jump around to any different dates that they that they need to if they need to say complete workouts on different days because you are setting a target date but they have the flexibility to then save them on different days if they if they can't meet that schedule for some reason so again flexibility built into the app mm -hmm. but they'll have any workouts that are scheduled they have their nutrition section here where they can go in and as i was saying they can log you know their daily calorie intake their macros they can log their you know their water intake here as well um, and they can log a text food diary if you want to and um, mm -hmm. so that is where we'll be as i mentioned earlier integrating with my fitness pal to just pull this data for your clients more easily and um, so automatically from my fitness pal but they have that option there and they have their lifestyle questionnaire in here so this is what we discussed about the short um, questionnaire that covers their sleep sleep duration mood energy uh, stress and muscle soreness again they can give you more feedback in terms of a note here so you know they can say um feeling feeling wrecked today if they want to give you extra feedback and you'll see this in your dashboard and um, but that's an optional step so when they complete that they'll get some instant feedback in terms of their readiness for the day compared to their seven day average they have um, links in here as well on tips on how to improve anything they scored at three or below. So they can click out here and they can view, um, you know, blog posts on energy in this case and, and tips on how to improve your energy. Nice. And um, they also have this full report down here so they can click in here and they can see their trends. So they'll see their today, seven day and 28 day average for all of these responses in here. And um, so they can see how they're trending themselves. And um, so, yeah, that would be your, your well-being section. And um, they have their content section in here. And um, so if they click into the content section in the tab on the left here, they'll see anything you've scheduled for them. So this is if you've added it to a program, it'll appear here. So there's nothing actually scheduled for this client for this day. But if they click into the resources tab here on the right, this is where they'll see any of the folders that you've set up. And um, so again, this can be completely custom to whatever you want to use it for. You know, you're setting up your folders and naming them. And um, but they can click in here and view any of the content. So say it is in this case nutrition. You know, they have some videos in here that you've added, or some PDFs or image files as well. So you can build up these report like resources for them to access on demand whenever they want to, basically. And. Um, Finally here, they have their activity section. So if I click into the activity section in here, this is where they can also track their training loads from any of the sessions that are scheduled. And um, so you see this athlete has completed one session today and um, a swimming session and they've recorded their RPEs. They also have another scheduled workout as well that they haven't completed. And um, but in this screen, they can also add their daily steps or they can add any other activities that they're completing outside of your scheduled sessions. Mm -hmm. So Imagine it is an athlete that's playing with a, a local football team and they can go in and they can add an activity for their training, for example. So let's say they had football training. They can select their activity type here. So let's say sport training for this one and they can put in the duration of their training and uh, their RPE for that session. Again, they can add some notes here if they want to give you any more feedback. And um, but if they submit here, that basically creates that activity for that date so you're getting more feedback from your clients and you're seeing you know the overall picture of the training they're doing not just their scheduled gym sessions mm -hmm. so when you look in the dashboard you'll actually get a, a feel for their full training load and mm -hmm. um, so that's that functionality and um, we will i'll jump forward to so we started that program there on the sixth so in their calendar view they can also see you know a quick overview of their compliance and they'll see anything that's scheduled for the future for them as well so i'll just jump forward and we can have a look at the workout that we looked at in the workout builder there 
So if I go into the workout section here, again, this is where, you know, the branding comes in, in in terms of your own gym or business branding that you can add. So you can customize all of this and any workouts that come will come from you as a coach. And um, but this is the workout strength one here. Now, this is a test test account. So this client has multiple workouts scheduled today. He's a, he's a busy man. <laughs> but, um, but looking at this one in here, this is the word the one we just looked at um, in the workout builder in the site. And um, so when your act or your client or your athlete clicks in, they'll first of all they'll see their summary screen here with a summary of their workouts. So they have all the sections that we set up here. So they have their dynamic warm-up video and the note that we set up for them. Then if they click into the key lift section where we've actually prescribed, you know, a specific exercise um, and we've prescribed some specific loads in here as well. They will get all of that detailed information exactly like you set up for them basically mm -hmm. and so in this case one of the metrics i didn't mention that we have in here is a percentage max metric as well so you can program in percentages here and then for each athlete that you sent it send it out to it will take that individual's one rep max for the exercise and it will calculate the specific load they should lift for them and um, so a nice kind of individualization feature there as well um, but in terms of the exercise itself, then you'll see these icons here on the right hand side. So if your client clicks into this one here, they will basically see an exercise technique video and a description if one has been added in here. And um, they have their training diary in here in this next icon. So if you haven't prescribed a specific load, they can see exactly what they lifted for that exercise the last number of times they did it and, and help their weight selection that way. Um, and they'll also see any of their records in here um, if they click into that icon. So they have all of that supporting information there as well with each exercise. So yeah, they have their full summary here. And when they're ready to complete their workout, they pop in here to the complete screen. And this is where they will basically save their data. So all of this comes pre-populated with whatever you prescribed, again, to make it easier for your clients. But they can go in and they can just type in here to change any of this data. And um, so they have full, full control in here. They can, you know, add and remove sets. They can change their values and um, they can even, oh, sorry, typo there. They can even, you know, um, mark an exercise is not done if they couldn't do it for some reason and leave a note for you to give you extra feedback. So a lot of flexibility in here again. And um, they can also set the date. So if they have to do it on a different day than you've scheduled, they can change the date here and, and let you know in that feedback. But well, yeah, once they filled out their workout here, basically, they click save workout down the bottom. At this case, at this stage, they'll be asked for their RPEs. They can skip it again if you don't want to track training loads with them. But if you do, and um, you know, they can put in these values and, and add notes if necessary. But they submit that, and that basically saves that workout, and they'll get some instant feedback about their workout in terms of. How many they've been completing you know their loads and their their volume in kg that they lifted and if they set any new records they will also appear here and they'll be able to access them there and um, so very quickly that is um, basically an, an overview of of the app from the the athlete or the client's point of view mm. any questions there in particular or i no i think i think i absolutely just love the flexibility of it from both the coach's side and the athlete's side i think the fact that they can take away sets um possibly add sets you know if somebody's feeling good for a certain day and it is kind of a, a max strength day and they're like oh i felt like i could get more and they could put it on or if they're mm -hmm. not feeling so great if that training load is um if their wellness score is quite low for that day they can sort of say oh, i took a set off because my score was below 50 and from the conversations from the resources if my score is below 50 i want to just try and reduce the volume down etc etc I, I just absolutely love the flexibility of it i think it just helps the art of coaching sometimes we get scared about technology thinking oh we're just trying to crowbar in and train people like like robots but actually i think the great thing about ripped is you can still maintain that adaptability that a coach needs and you can educate your clients and your athletes on how they can be flexible uh, and it's all stored in one place no different to what you would if it was face to face which is absolutely fantastic so that's great to see a quick question from andy saying for the program schedule are you able to allow them to put their sessions in and around their working week eg shift workers etc etc so i think that's you can change the date on that that's where that one would be useful right 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you are you're you know you're setting them up with target dates or a target schedule, but yeah, they can access the workouts on any day and they can save them on the day they completed them basically to to adapt to that schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 brilliant. Flexibility all over the place. It's good. I wish I wish my body <laughs> I wish my body was as flexible as this software, <laughs> mate. I'll tell you what, I'm feeling stressed yeah. today. But no. And then another great comment there from, from Kyle saying, uh, this looks amazing, going to have a look. So, uh, Kyle, I would recommend booking a call in with, with Carmack as well if you if you need anything else explained. And the guys over at Ripped are more than happy to give anybody a walkthrough on that as well. So Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so yeah, finally, I will jump back in and look at the analysis section to see how all of this ties together, basically. Yeah. Um, so in the analysis section, it's basically made up of different dashboards for the different um, different data types that you're collecting from your clients. And um, so all of the dashboards function basically the same. So initially, you're selecting one of your groups if you want to look at, say, group aggregate data, if you are working with a squad or anything like that. Or you can select any of your individual athletes if you just want to view their data on the dashboards. And you're selecting a time period. So this can be one of you know our, our kind of default time periods, or you can select any custom time period to create a custom report if you want. Then the dashboards are all made up of, so this is your well-being dashboard, but all the dashboards are made up of a table like this where you can view all of the data. So let me just uh, sort on this so we can see. So this is the, the client we were just looking at and filled out the questionnaire for on the app. And um, so you can see all his responses again in that traffic light view. And you can look at, you know, if he did add any comments, you can see what they are here. So you can, you know, reach out to them and have a chat if necessary. And um, but all the dashboards are made up of basically a table of the data here. And then down below, it'll be all of this data graphed. And um, so in, in this case, you know, we're looking at basically all of the group users. And um, but let me, I'm just going to jump back to uh, maybe last week when there's some more data in there, hopefully. And um, you can see, yeah, you so see you can basically see this is aggregate of the group data, but if you select an individual, it'll just show their data on the graphs and you'll basically see all of all of their data that they've recorded in here. So in, in terms of the, the well-being, it's their readiness score and then each individual question. So you can query and graph all of that data basically. And you can also create PDF reports to share with, you know, other coaches, if you're working in a sports setting, or you know, even with your with your athletes themselves or your clients, so you can create a, a custom branded PDF report here for any of the dashboards. Um, but your athletes do also have access to all of their own data if they log into the RIP website with their account. They'll be able to access their dashboards and they'll see just their own data on the dashboards. So they can go in and view all of their progress and their performance metrics, and um, just as you can, basically. And um, so, yeah, you have your, you know, your well-being in here and lifestyle. You have your training load dashboard here, um, which is all of your RPE data basically here. So you can see, you know, the number of activities and um, the training loads, the daily average daily training load and your monotonies and your strain and your acute chronic in here as well. So a lot of data in there. You have your nutrition dashboard, which you can graph out. You know, you have your daily calories and macros and water intake, and you can graph all of this information as well. You have your records in here. So this would be your exercise records. So um, let's just select an exercise here to, to give you an idea of what that looks like. So we can look at that hex bar deadlift. Oh, my spelling is okay. Um, so here, this would be an example of a, you know a one rep max you're tracking, but again, it could be any of our records in terms of jump heights or sprint times or anything like that. Um, but you'll see you know the current one rep maxes for for your clients, and you'll also see all of their data graphed over time, so you can clearly show them the progress they're making over the course of your program and um, for your different key metrics or key exercises that you want to track. You know. And um, then you have your training volume, which is basically uh, the total volume for any exercise or group of exercises. And um, so this is where your exercise groups ties in that we talked about earlier. Um, but you'll see for a given time period, you know, the total reps, total volume and the intensity or average kg per rep that they lifted during that time period. Again, all of this data will be graphed by the specific date. Um, 
you have your workout compliance, which is very simply, you know, how many workouts were scheduled, how many did they complete, and their compliance rate during a time period. So a good thing to to keep track of um, and to be pushing clients and motivating them to to stick to their program. Um, and we do. I, I don't know if you want me to go into much detail on on these, um, Steve, but we we also just launched recently GPS data integration. So if you are working again, this is popular with sports teams and you're using GPS devices, you can upload their data here and you mm -hmm. can graph all of their GPS metrics. So from your your distances and your, you know, your max speed efforts and your sprint distances, all that kind of stuff. And um, we have the injury tracking here. So you'll you'll see all of the injuries in a given time period and, and where the, uh, the clients are in terms of recovery in this dashboard. And we also have an injury risk dashboard in here. Um, and this dashboard will pull in um, data from your GPS if you're uploading it and your well being, your training load, and it will take some of these metrics. So your readiness head score, your acute to chronic work ratio from your training load, your acute to chronic high speed distance running, and um, if you are uploading your GPS and then up to two assessment results. So it will default to hamstring strength and CMJ, but you can change that up if you need to do any other assessments. And it basically from these five result, or five metrics, it will calculate a dynamic injury risk um, for each individual. Mm. So this, this, these features are, are, you know, more kind of linked to high performance sport, but, um, Definitely, um, it's, it's something new that we just launched there. So give you a quick overview of it anyway. No, I, I, th I think that's great. And I think the fact that there's more more coaches now working with, um, although like we call them like weekend warriors and stuff, people are starting to tra take their training a lot more serious, even if they are recreational athletes, if they are doing yeah. triathlons, Ironmans, obstacle course racing and all of that kind of stuff, as well as football and what have you. As technology becomes more affordable, people have access to track this. So it's great to have that ability to put it in. You know, what you don't want to do is put all your eggs in one basket for a coaching software, then add it into your coaching further down the line and say, oh, but it doesn't have that functionality. So yeah, I yeah. heard not use it or come back to it. So the fact that you can only grow into it is, is a great thing. But injury risk and, in, and looking at the injury profiles and stuff is is a massive one for me because um, it's something as us coaches that we need to keep a constant eye on rather than letting our athletes break. Or just saying, I'll oh, come back when you fit to train again. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. We're seeing more and more people now, you know, signing up for you know the individual GPS devices uh, and you know even amateur athletes and, and wearing them to their own training sessions. So yeah, it's it's an interesting move and um, towards more and more technology, definitely. Yeah. So that's absolutely fantastic, mate. I think um, it's such an in-depth um, bit, bit of kit, and I think the fact is that it's all flexible and it's. Uh, it's not scary. It's not daunting to use or anything like that. You know, um, it's well laid out. I think coaches, if you have the opportunity to jump on it or even just jump on the trial, then uh, really do just give it a go. Um, and I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. And I think it's the intuitiveness that it has um, of being able to just be adaptable around your program is 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 massive. So you're not going to lose that coaching experience or feel like somebody's just putting like a square peg in a round hole if you will you know yeah so i the only other thing i didn't really go through is is the products feature and um, i know i'm very conscious of the time so we have we have a demo link that i can share it's a 10 minute demo of that feature and it's around creating products to to sell through the platform mm -hmm. if people are interested in that would that be the best thing you think or yeah or yeah drop, yeah drop it in the comment section mate um or if you want i can follow up with um any comments and stuff like that as well so yeah ping it, ping it over to both mate and we can get that sorted no jams at all perfect will do we'll good do. stuff good stuff yeah so um if there are any other questions yeah i'm happy to take them or I know it's probably a lot of information to take in there, so <laughs> no. Uh, well, I, I, but Maybe I think get another coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think for me, it was always about showcasing the platform, and uh, me being me, I am very skeptical. As I never want to have something, 
added into my coaching process that's going to take away from the art of coaching. Mm -hmm. But I think showcasing ripped in all of its glory and not just skirting around and allowing it just to say, oh, well, it's just like any other coaching software, because it clearly isn't. It does allow that adaptability of, of what coaches need. Um, but also the metrics are a really, really important one is, is to make sure that we are given an informed program. So, but guys, if you, if you have got any more questions, I would recommend just booking in a bit of a call, head over to, um, go over to rip.app and then the guys will be able to, you'll be able to book a call and they can go into yeah. it. But hopefully guys, you're watching this. It doesn't matter if you're working with recreational runners, general population, or working in high-end sport, like RIP can meet the the demands of whatever it is, you know? So um, I think that's the beauty of the program. Uh, as an added bonus, you might have seen the ticker going across the bottom. Obviously, this was for people just in the Elite Coach Network, but I've sneakily snuck it in with Carmack's permission there. So <laughs> if you do want to give it a go, um, use the code Elite, uh, Elite CN 50 so the Elite Coach Network 50 and you'll get um, an additional 50% off the first three months of your subscription as well. Yeah. Okay. So you've so, got all the plans come with a, a one month free trial anyway. So after that, if you decide to go on, yeah, you'll get the first three months at, at half price. So yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, like you said, happy to, to take any questions or take calls with people if, if they want to follow up through the, through the site. Yeah, absolutely spawn. Mate, I totally appreciate your time. And guys, if you have got any questions, but hopefully you've you've took a lot from that. And again, Carmack, thanks for sharing your morning and take giving us an insight into the the brilliant bit of kit that is uh, that is ripped. No worries at all. Thanks for having me. No worries, mate. Guys, it's been a pleasure as always. Reach out if you need us, and I'm looking forward to catching up again very very soon. Thank you.